Okay, so now we've turned you on to some basic operations using Receptor's front panel, but as you've seen, you can also control Receptor graphically using either a keyboard, monitor, and mouse plugged directly into Receptor, or as I showed you earlier, using the remote control application on your main computer. It's time to turn the discussion over to Igor, Receptor's product designer, and let him introduce you to some basic concepts in Receptor's graphical user interface. Hi, I'm Igor, product designer from Muse Research, and this is an introduction to Receptor's graphical user interface. The interface has three tabbed views, which you access by clicking the View buttons at the top of the screen. Mix View is Receptor's main operating screen and is where you perform all of the plug-in instantiation, routing, and mixing functions. Setup View is where you set various audio, MIDI, and networking preferences, and also where you go to install new plugins or software updates. Edit View lets you graphically edit any Receptor plugin using the developer's own graphical user interface. The remainder of this introduction will discuss Mix View in a bit more depth. As you can see, the bottom half of the screen looks very much like a traditional mixing console. There are 16 instrument channels, two effect buses, and a master output channel. The top half of the screen contains detailed information about a single one of these channels. To select which channel details to view, click the large channel select button that appears at the top of each mixer strip. If you look at a single instrument channel, you'll see that it contains standard mixer elements such as volume and pan faders, channel mute and solo buttons, send levels for the two effect buses, and pre-post fader switches. To assign instrument and effects to a channel, click the large channel select button and the top half of the display will show the channel details. An orange channel select button is used to indicate which channel details are currently displayed. At the top of the screen is the source slot. Click the source selector to open a panel in which you select which VSTI or audio input to use as the channel's sound source. Click the bank or patch selectors to open a patch select panel and use it to audition patches. If you want to simply step through patches one at a time without opening the patch select panel, click the previous or next patch buttons. If you want to bypass a plugin, click its bypass button. If you want to edit a patch, click the edit button and the plugin's graphical interface opens in Receptor's edit view. You can edit the plugin here and you can save your edit by clicking the save file button at the top of the screen. To return to Mix View, click the Mix tab in Receptor's view bar. Each channel sound source can then be routed through three insert effects labeled FX A, B, and C. These insert effects can be combined in any series parallel combination using the routing buttons. VST effects and patches are assigned to these slots exactly as with the source slot. The entire channel configuration can then be saved as a single patch. Recalling a single patch automatically instantiates every VST in the channel and loads the correct parameter values into each plugin. Receptor ships with numerous single patches ready for use. As mentioned previously, there are 16 instrument channels in Receptor. These channels can be assigned to different MIDI channels for multi-timbral sequencing, or they can be stacked together on the same MIDI channel to create complex, powerful mega synthesizers. The entire receptor configuration, consisting of all 16 instrument channels, the two effects buses, and the master channel can then be saved as a multi-patch. When you load a multi-patch, receptor automatically instantiates every plugin used by that patch and loads each one with the correct parameter settings. Receptor ships with many multi-patches, which illustrate just some of the potential sonic capabilities of this instrument.